The only New this morning, tragedy in Anaheim as an exchange student drowns in his host family's pool. You're waking up to the Fox 11 Morning News on at 4.30 on this Thursday, August 7th. Now, this is the Fox 11 Morning News. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Fox 11 Morning News at 4.30 on this Thursday morning. I'm Tony McEwen. Good morning. I'm Marla Teos. We'll get to that story in just a moment. But first, let's check in with Rick to see what's going on on this Thursday. Hello. Beautiful good morning. Beautiful day yesterday. Yeah, it certainly was, guys. Good morning to you. Happy Thursday. How about 77 degrees for a high temperature in downtown Los Angeles? It had not been in the 70s uh, since July 19th. It was the coolest day in Los Angeles since July 19th. That's when we were 75 degrees, so really pleasant conditions. And those pleasant conditions are going to continue today. We're looking at the onshore flow. The marine layer is running about 1,800 feet deep. Those low clouds are spreading inland again. Temperatures right now in the low to mid 60s, 64 in downtown LA at 66 in Long Beach, Fullerton, and Camarillo. Oxnard checking in at 64, 65 in Santa Monica. Burbank, Van Nuys, Riverside, and Saugus all checking in with 62. So I'll give that the weather number of the morning. Later on today, 79 for LA. Average is 84. So we'll still be five below that. A weak upper level trough spinning along the California coast will maintain a dry southwesterly flow aloft. That means no monsoonal thunderstorms anticipated. And it also means the continuation of the onshore flow and marine layer, keeping temperatures below average. Areas of clouds this morning, sunshine later on. Look at that, Inland Empire. That's on the warm to hot side, upper 80s, but typically this time of year in August, the dog days were well into the 90s. Ventura County Inland Spots will top off at 80. We'll see about 71 degrees on the beaches today, mid-70s in the coastal cities, 79 for downtown Los Angeles, 83 to 89 will be the temperature range for the valleys and IE. Coming up on the seven day forecast and let you know how much longer these pleasant temperatures will last. But first, an update on the freeways on this Thursday morning. We have a very serious situation working on the 10 freeway, 10 eastbound at State Street. Some police activity here. Apparently, a body has been found in the roadway. Very little details. Our own Christine O'Donnell is en route. She's going to bring us a live report coming up a little bit later on this morning. Again, it's 10 eastbound at State Street. A lot of police activity there, an investigation. Tony and Marla, two right lanes taken away. Back to you. All right, Rick, thanks so much. It is 432 now this morning. LAPD Police Chief Charlie Beck, he's now admitting to his involvement in the sale of his police officer daughter's horse to the department. Earlier this week, the chief denied he had any part in the $6,000 deal, and that, that purchase of the horse for the equestrian unit was handled by others within the LAPD. But yesterday, papers surfaced showing Beck signature on the documentation of this sale. Last night, the chief put out a statement saying that his earlier comments were mistaken. In response to Beck's statement, police commission president Steve Soboroff said he is satisfied that the commission will have sufficient disclosure going forward. 433 traffic is moving again on the 710 freeway this morning after a woman ran across that freeway and was hit and killed by a car. CHP receiving reports around 830 last night of a woman walking on the right shoulder of the northbound 710. When officers arrived, she ran away from them, running across the freeway, climbing over the center divider into the southbound lanes. And that is when she was struck by a silver Toyota Corolla. The driver immediately stopped. The woman was declared dead right there at the scene. The freeway was shut down for about an hour after that accident. New this morning, a foreign exchange student from China has drowned in his host family's backyard pool. This happened in Anaheim. There are conflicting reports about whether the 16-year-old student was swimming alone or with other people, but someone found him unresponsive in the deep end of the pool about 8.45 last night. It happened at a home on Northwest Street in Anaheim. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, the student had been living with the family for only a short Time. Meanwhile, one of the children who was found in the deep end of a hotel pool on Hollywood Boulevard earlier this week is doing a bit better this morning, but his mother and his sister are still on life support. They were pulled from the pool by a good Samaritan who heard other family members screaming for help. The boy, who is 11 years old, is now breathing on his own. His 12-year-old sister and his mother 
are still listed in grave condition this morning. It is 434. NASA and the USS Anchorage just wrapped up another round of testing the splashdown recovery procedures for the new Orion spacecraft off the Channel Islands. And they completed this exercise just in time for Navy Days in San Pedro this weekend. Bob DeCastro, he joins us now at the USS Anchorage with more. That would be Lieutenant Bobby DeCastro. Oh, yes. I'm, excuse me, <laughs> Lieutenant DeCastro. USNR. Uh, that's retired.